Hello everyone. Ideas on economy. Gandhi's concept of Swaraj had its own brand of economic vision. He wanted a decentralized economy without state control. Gandhi dismissed both capitalism and western socialism, the former for its exploitative excesses and the latter, latter for its connection to industrialization. Both, he believed, led human beings to crave for luxury and self-indulgence. Gandhi wanted people to get rid of greed and make do with just bare necessities of life. He developed the idea of village Sarvodaya. He advocated a back-to-the-roots vision when production was simultaneous with consumption and distribution and the vicious circle of money economy was absent. Production was for immediate use and not for distant markets. What he wanted was the revival of ancient village communities in which agriculture prospered and industry was a decentralized business through small-scale cooperative operations. He also wanted the participation of people at all levels. In a letter he wrote to Henry Pollock in 1909, Gandhi expressed the view that India's salvation lay in unlearning what had been learned. He wanted the railways, telegraphs, hospitals, lawyers, doctors and other modern trappings to be discarded and the so-called upper class to learn to live the simple life of the present. He was against large-scale industrialization. He had strong objections to labor-saving machinery. Men go on saving labor till thousands are without work and thrown on the open streets to die of starvation. He was not against instruments and machinery that saved individual labor. He wrote that the mechanization is good when the hands are too few for the work intended to be accomplished. It is an evil when there are more hands than required for the work as is the case in India. The capitalist who amassed wealth was a thief according to Gandhi. In his opinion, if a person had inherited wealth or had made a lot of money through trade and industry, the amount was to be shared with the entire society and must be spent on the welfare of all. He put forward this his theory of trusteeship under which he wanted the capitalists to be trustees and as such would take care of not only themselves but also of others. The workers would consider the capitalists as their benefactors and would keep faith in them. So there would be mutual trust and confidence and as a consequence the ideal for ideal of economic equality could be achieved. Both considered economic freedom to be the essence of social and political freedom. He was all in favor of modernization which was necessarily to be brought about by industrialization. He believed that India's downfall in the political and material sphere had been brought about by the people's inordinate belief in the fate and the supernatural accompanied by an indifference to modern scientific developments, especially in the field of war weapons. He felt that backward agriculture had to be modernized. The labor that was ousted from the agricultural sector as a result of such modernization could be helped only with the development of industry, which could absorb the surplus labor from agriculture. In his speech at the Haripura Congress session, Bose expressed his opinion that for India to progress, a comprehensive scheme of industrial development under state ownership and state control would be indispensable and he spoke about the need to set up a planning commission to advise the national government. He also spoke about abolition of landlordism and liquidation of agricultural indebtedness. He was much impressed by the success attained by the Soviet Union in economic development through rapid industrialization within a short period of time. Bose had his reasons for demanding industrialization for India. It would solve the problem of unemployment. Socialism, he said, was to be the basis of national reconstruction and socialism presupposed in the industrialization. Moreover, industrialization was necessary if India were to compete with foreign countries. Industrialization was also necessary for improving the standard of living of the people at large. 
बोस क्लासिफाइड इंडस्ट्री इनटू थ्री कैटेगरीज हेवी मीडियम एंड कॉटेज हेवी इंडस्ट्री ही सेड फॉर्म द बैकबोन ऑफ द नेशनल इकोनॉमी बट ही वॉज फुल्ली अवेयर ऑफ द ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कॉटेज इंडस्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन डज नॉट मीन दैट वी टर्न आवर बैक ऑन कॉटेज इंडस्ट्रीज इट ओनली मीन्स दैट वी शैल हैव टू डिसाइड विच इंडस्ट्रीज शुड बी डेवलप्ड ऑन अ कॉटेज बेसिस एंड विच ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल बेसिस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू सपोर्ट द चैनल थैंक यू बाय